Hello, I'm Maddie, and this is my team, Sam, Renee, Mason, Christy, and Ella. And we are Crystal Clarity Public Relations. Our, slog our logo is Clear Concise Communication. Crystal Clarity Public Relations is based on principles valued by our team. Honesty, integrity, strength, and quality. Crystals represent each of those each of these feature principles. Crystals are made in an immense pressure throughout a long period of time. For our firm, this means we will endure anything to achieve excellence. The name Crystal Clarity is a play on the widely used term Crystal Clear. The word clarity in our name emphasizes the value we place on transparency and accuracy in our communications. We were inspired by Ivy Lee. He was the man who encouraged the Pennsylvania Railroad Company to reach out to stakeholders, such as the media, to report facts about an incident that had occurred on the railroad. The reason he encouraged the media to get involved was so the Pennsylvania Railroad Company could get publicity so that hopefully their pending 5% rate hike would be approved. Ivy Lee's use of publicity allowed approval of the rate hike, which is why he inspires our firm. Our mission statement will be discussed now. Hello, everybody. My name is Mason Meyer, um, and I will be going over Crystal Clarity's mission statement. Crystal Clarity strives to serve the community with mutual relationships that will last. Our mission is to connect our clients to their targeted audience by building rewarding relationships through clear, concise communication. We are committed to our clients and their public, delivering direct, transparent service at the highest quality. Now for some of our motivations. Hi, my name is Ella and um, our firm, Crystal Clarity Public Relations, is a company who practices the ways of Ivy Lee by being honest with their clients and relationships. As a new firm, we want to prove to the public how we strive to serve them with complete transparency in every aspect of our relationships and communication to clients. Any other connections we may nurture as well, we want to prove and show how we just are completely blunt and honest and upfront about everything. And so now um, we're gonna move on to the rationale statement. Hi, I'm Renee. We chose our firm logo to reflect the values our company represents. The highlights three interlocking crystals. The crystal is elegant and timeless, displaying a strong outlook while remaining clear and transparent. The specific number of three mirrors our three word slogan, clear, concise communication. The interlocking aspect represents the connections we intend to build with our clients and the public. We will now introduce our color selection. Hi everyone, my name is Sam. <clears throat> our colors were chosen in order to display the multiple strengths our firm strives uphold. The colors we chose are turquoise, white, and slate gray. First, our colors um, represent stability, which is imperative within our firm. Turquoise helps symbolizes trust and wisdom within communication. White, in some cases, symbolizes purity and balance, while in other cases, helps establish a sense of protection for our clients and their confidential information. Lastly, slate gray offers help to embody balance and neutrality, especially towards all of our clients and sophistication, notably in every presentation. We all chose to wear the colors that our firm exhibits due to how strongly we feel about our firm's image. Now we will discuss the design choices that we chose in other components of our firm. Hi everyone, I'm Christy. I kind of took up the head on the design elements, so I'd love to show you what we came up with now. First is our letterhead. Uh, a big aspect of our branding and our overall company's uh, image is simplicity. So that's what we wanted to keep in mind when creating these design elements. Uh, so for our leadhead, we kept it simple, but we also wanted to add a modern touch by having the designs be on the sides of the paper rather than on the top and the bottom, like you might see uh, on a normal letterhead. Uh, and then for our contact information on our letterhead, we kept the company's generic contact information. And then you'll see later that we put the specific um, 
employees' emails and contact information on the business card. Um, we just wanted to keep uh, everything super brand um, stable and specific for our letterhead. And then for our business cards, um, I'll talk about the font a little bit because you can see the font a little bit more on the business cards. So we chose a font called Beliza for our main font. And um, we wanted to use, again, something that was simple, but also went well with the crystals in the background. Um, because the, the wording is sitting on top of the crystals, it had to be something that wasn't too busy, uh, but also something that was looked nice. Um, so that's why cho we chose that one. And then for our second font, we just wanted something that would um, complement the first font. And so that's what you see in clear, concise communication at the bottom there. Uh, and then for the back of our business card, uh, we added a touch more turquoise because we love everything that the turquoise represents. And so we just wanted to add that a little bit more to the back of our cards. And then on the back, we kept the name centered to really emphasize it as the focal point of the card. And then it was important for us to have our logo on both the front and the back of the cards, just to be continuous in all of our branding so that you wouldn't miss it if you're just seeing the back or the front. Uh, and then, as I said, we included specific emails and phone numbers on the cards versus the generic company's contact information that is included on the letterhead. So you can see examples of that here. And then finally, we have our envelopes. So of course, keeping with our theme of simplicity within our design elements, we didn't want the envelope to be too crazy or loud or overstated. Um, and so that's what we wanted to go with, with the design of the envelopes. That's why you see our small little logo in the top left with the name of our company and our address. Um, and then furthermore, to keep it less busy, we just decided to include one font on the envelope rather than two, just to keep it understated and simple. Um, and with that, that finishes our design elements. We are super excited to um, have a brand as a firm. That's something that's super um, optimistic and we're looking forward to seeing uh, what we do with our firm this semester. And with that, we wanna thank you for watching and yeah.